Morning fans, uh, it's, the, it's the early morning hours, the wee hours, or the small hours of the morning here in the village hidden in the rain. 3.43 to be exact. It was very, very early here. Um, I haven't gone to sleep yet, and I don't know why. I uh, just can't manage to sleep for some reason, so... Here I am, posting a video at 4 a.m. Or quarter to 4. Um, it's not even that obscene for me. I mean, I've done videos about this late before, if not later, with my friend 52 Rockley. Uh, let's see, an Arbok. We can easily defeat this guy with an Earthquake. Yes! Excuse me. I don't even know why I burped. I haven't had anything to drink in like three or four hours since I posted those Mario videos. That had to be at like one or two. So, uh, yeah. Ah, I want a coughing. <laughs> I don't know why. I think I'm going to start my Pokemon Red right over in real life in IRL. Um, just because I can, I guess. Um, I don't know. I was thinking about it. I might. Oh no. Uh, I hope I don't attack myself. Oh crap. There. Just wanted to get out of the confusion. Okay. So we defeated that rocket pretty easily. I'm um, just trying to be quiet so I don't wake up anybody in my house. Well, the walls here are paper thin for some reason. Ah, oh, jeez. I don't have anything to heal our people with. Uh. You won't find my boss just by scurrying around. Yes, I will. I've got here just by scurrying around. Bingo! Card key open the door. Excellent. You, it's really dangerous here. You came to save me? You can't. Why not? Team Rocket was after the Master Ball, which catch any Pokemon. Speaking of catching Pokemon, I need to cheat so I can get a Hitmonchan. It would be bad if Team Rocket took over Silco or our Pokemon. Yeah, that could end badly for you guys. Um, I don't know why you're just realizing this now. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we're near the ending of this area. That's Gary the butthole there. I mean, uh, Mutsaki the butthole. Even though he's not really that mean. Uh, shizwiz. Calcium. Uh, I'm pretty sure this restores... Special? Ah, oh, crap. Well, that's fine with me. Hehehe. <laughs> you mistook me for a self worker? Yeah, I think this guy is like, oh, I actually work for self co, but I'm just fronting as a Team Rocket so I don't get, you know, hurt or something like that. And I'm just like, man, what a douche. What a douchey, douchey douche. Oh well. If that's what he wants to do, let him. Make. Let's uh, bring out the Charizard. Ah, critical hit, yay. No, no, the other attack I was about to use. Yeah, if you guys can, uh, use Slash with swords dance, a uh, sword dance, it does so much more damage. Uh, actually, it's kind of obscene to be honest. Okay, travel up this way. I think I was up here already. Yeah, I was. Okay, I need to figure out where I'm going here. Um, so I think we'll be right back. I'm going to pause this real quick, and I'll let you guys know where I end up. See you guys in a sec. Okay, uh, I figured. I think I figured out where I'm supposed to go, but I'm only just one floor up. Uh, I'm not sure if this is it. Nope, this is the wrong place. Be right back, you guys. Okay, I'm still on the same floor, but I got this door opened, and I thought it might be useful to get in here. Oh my god, I am going the right way. Holy crap. You look tired. You should take a quick nap. <laughs> yes! Sleep time for the win! Okay. Uh, I still want to look for that guy. Uh, sorry, I was stretching my neck. I still want to look for that guy that gives us the Lapras. 
I guess I was just uh, tripping balls or something. Your Pokemon seem to adore you, kid. Yeah, they do, because I'm not a butthole to them and stuff like that. I just don't abuse them and kick them and stuff while they're down, you butthole rocket. Ugh, these guys suck. Okay, so we'll start off on the number, and if he survives, we'll move into a slash. Which will more than likely give us what we need to kill him, or defeat this drowsy. I don't know why I say kill them. You don't kill them. You defeat them. You faint them. You force them to faint. I think right off the bat, I'm just going to slash them. Yeah, it'll work. Yes. I'm also saving up for a few TMs. I'm going to teach some of my Pokemon Hyper Beam. Um, I don't know if anybody else likes that move, but... Um, in my Pokemon Blue, my r actual version... Uh, uh, all of my main Pokemon know it. All six of them have Hyper Beam. And it's not even for safety reasons. It's just because. I mean, it's just a really powerful attack. But the MP, uh, the PP, as in power points, uh, just isn't worth it in that aspect. Okay, yeah, it is worth it. But, I mean, I think if it ha should have had, I think, seven instead of just five. But I think at this time, uh, in this era of time, when this game was first released, um, Hyper Beam was the most powerful attack in the game. So, yeah. And I don't. I wonder. Kind of wonder how they measure, like, what is the strongest technique in the game. Actually, I think I figured it out. Uh, based on like level one hundreds, um, I guess they just give an attack to a Pokemon, and then you're just like, alright, let's see, do this, see how much damage it does. And, I guess, they're just like, you know what, Hyper Beam did the most damage, so it's the most powerful. I don't know, yeah, that sounds kind of stupid, but whatever. That's just my theory sort of thingy. Ah, cheese whiz. I have to go all the way back and get healed. Actually, no, I don't. Do pay, pay attention that I, if I help them, they let me study Pokemon. I don't need to go back, I just gotta do this. Uh, I'm gonna run back real quick, so I can get healed up, and so we can proceed. Okay? I'll be right back, fans. I'm back, you guys. Uh, let's do this. Bingo, the card key opened the door. Hyper Potion. Something we need to heal. Okay, let's go a little bit further. Uh, I'm pretty sure we were here before. Or maybe not. Uh, quit messing with us, kid. Okay, so we're going to exterminate this floor. Of any rockets. Because we're pretty deep in the hive right now, as you guys can see. Um, yeah. <laughs> Jeez whiz, we're... We're neck deep in this nonsense. Oh, I was hoping for a flinch. Oh, I guess not, but that's fine. I can deal with that. Uh, next level, I think I'm learning Hydro Pump, and I will be able to get rid of Splash. And then at level 55, I learn Hyper Beam. And then later on, I'm going to teach him Blizzard. Uh, I'm just going to proceed up upwards one more time. Let's see, yeah, I cleared this area. Okay. All right, let's go down. Look at that. It is Gari. I meant Mutsaki. I just called him Gari just because. Mutsaki, what kept you, Rakudo? So we're already, I think, nine minutes into this video. Uh, so your rocket slowed you down. Not that I care. I saw you in saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. Okay, you you know I got better. Way better than you ever could. Okay, so that's pretty much the strongest Pokemon right there, I think. Oh, man, I spoke too soon. That's fine. Okay. Level 40. Nope. Execute. I'm going to send a Vulpix. Flamethrower. Yeah. We were nine minutes in, not ten minutes in. Ooh, I'm gonna use an Alakazam on you. Uh, 
Oh, jeez. Quick attack. Blastoise, eh? Alakazam. Psychic. Yeah, his level, highest level is about the same as mine, so, you know, whatever. Oh, ho, so you're ready for boss rocket. Yeah. Well, Rikudo, moving up on ahead. By checking the Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. I'm going to the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four. I'll become the world's most powerful trainer, Rikudo. Good luck, dude. Don't sweat it. Smell ya. What a douche. Now, we're going to get our Team Rock, uh, Lapras. No. Um... That's it for this video, so uh, rate, comment, subscribe, peace, love, and respect, fans. I hope you guys enjoyed this part. I will see you guys later.